us. Um, caught totally impromptu at the camera. Exactly, that's us. Ladies and gentlemen, well, no, Elvis, we're very pleased to have you on the show. It was a fantastic beginning. Elvis Costello, ladies and gentlemen, has joined me. <laughs> now, you've just done a fantastic album of covers. Yeah. Intriguing album of covers. The first song that you played, tell us where the first, why did you choose that one? Um, well, actually, my dad did it first, uh, strangely enough. My dad was with Joe Loss for uh, many years, and, and they used to do a radio broadcast, and every week he used to come home with a stack of singles and um, to learn them. And I was very lucky, because pocket money would not have bought me as many records as I managed to get my hands on. Why is it called the Kojak variety, your LP? I don't know, it's an enigma. It's a, it came to me in a vision. Well, in a dream? In a dream. Was there a, any... a bit like the show. Yeah, that's Kinda like, like the, the Lost like Chord, you know. Exactly, yeah, yeah. That's nearly it. Yeah. Um, where did you record this record? In Barbados. It's kind of a surf record. I thought as much. And you've got with you, I noticed, tell us about, you've augmented the attractions. Tell us about, about James Burton for the people at home that don't. Well, for those, uh, well, where do, where do you start? I mean, James was with Ricky Nelson. He wrote, he wrote Susie Q, the great uh, Dale Hawkins tune, uh, wrote the riff and uh, played with Ricky Nelson for many years and then with Elvis Presley. And you can't name an artist whose records he hasn't played on. He played one, on many, many wonderful records. Frank Sinatra. And yeah, Frank Sinatra. There you and, go. Uh, Merle Haggard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Beatles. You can't. You the can't Beatles. There. Yeah, no, he played on all of them. Yeah, I thought, so I thought he did that. Now, as always, Thanks we've him. especially got for you a bit of archive that I believe is one of my favourite artists of all time. So I'm particularly yeah. thrilled. Let's let's take a look at that. What you've chosen. Ow. <laughs> Well, that's, that, that's it. Let's all go home now. Yeah, that's no, it. stop while the show's ahead. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? Just tell us just what you know. What... I, I saw. I remember seeing this clip a, a while ago on some compilation show. And for one thing, you very rarely see Aretha Franklin play piano on She's TV. She's brilliant, at, of course. And she played record uh, the piano on many of her great greatest records. And people forget that she's a terrific piano player because yeah. she came out of gospel and everything. And it's just amazing. And also, the great thing is it was the Cliff Richard show. You know, I mean, it was kind of a straight, kind of say this very quietly, kind of boring show, you know, and, uh, and, and, and Aretha Franklin is on it. And these days, I mean, look, you know, we're, we're getting to be older guys now. Maybe we should have our own show, you know. Well, exactly. Fact, we you, have. You, you do. It's happened. It's happened. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, look, I don't know how it happened. But, uh, I don't know. It's all been a mistake. I'm just sorry yeah. about everything. But I was, everything has been worthwhile for seeing just that bit of that, We can quit now, yeah. Uh, it really was beautiful. In fact, we're well, going to. We no, like to we're going to go ahead. Mm -hmm. Elvis, thank you very much for joining us. We're going to look forward to some more songs later on. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis Costello. Thank you very much.